What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for thelines.com, playpicks.com. Going to talk to you about the New York Yankees and what these betting odds look like for them here as we enter the 2020 season. Guys, while you're here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Tons of content, tons of free content, so be sure and uh, take all of that in. And while you're here, go ahead, give us a thumbs up as well and let us know in the comments how you are going to bet the New York Yankees over here. At the lines, you can see we have a full written betting breakdown. If you want to take a look at all of this, it gives you the ins and outs of how the team is going to look heading in. Of course, Luis Severino out for the 2020 season. As you guys know, Domingo Armand is also suspended. Uh, Didi Gregorius is out of town. Dylan Batances is out of town as well. So is Edwin Encarnacion and Greg Bird. But it's still just an incredibly loaded lineup, as you guys well know. Hicks, Judge, Stanton, Tanaka, Hap, Montgomery, Paxton. I mean, to go along with the signing of Garrett Cole as well. So just tons and tons. DJ LeMayhew, uh, Giovanni Urshela. I mean, there's just tons of, of huge, huge names here for this Yankees team to succeed. As you go down a little bit further here, you can see a little bit of an easier way to kind of digest this, this breakdown here. You can see the projected starting lineup. You can see the bullpen strengths and weaknesses, some key stats and different things like that. So head over the lines, take a look at that. You can see the URL right up here. Uh, as we look at the schedule, you know, look, the way that they realign this with the 60 game season, yeah, they picked up the NL East as well. And that is definitely a tough, tough division, right? I mean, lots of games against we're talking nationals and Phillies and Braves and all of these teams that are expected to be pretty good going into the season here. I mean, of course the, the Braves favorite in that division, but that division's all kinds of jumbled up the, the Mets, the Phillies, the nationals, all those teams have a shot at winning that division. So it's not like they got any favors with this whole realignment thing, but again, it's just an incredibly stacked team in this Yankees team. And you can see, a uh, pretty decent little way to end up here while we expect the Blue Jays to be better. Um, they do end up with four games against the Blue Jays and then three straight games against the Marlins. And that's another one of the things they did pick up was another walkover team. I mean, they get the Orioles and then they pick up the Marlins as well. So um, not all bad here from a scheduling standpoint for this Yankees team, as you would imagine. They're the favorites pretty much across the board for a lot of things. Right there, neck and neck with the Dodgers here at DraftKings for World Series odds. You can see the Dodgers coming in at 375 and then the Yankees here at 400. Over on FanDuel, seeing about the same. 380 on the Dodgers and then 400 here on the Yankees for the World Series. And then heading over to Fox Bet, you can actually see neck and neck right there, 380. Yankees and Dodgers. So if we are going to take in the Yankees for the World Series, we'll do that over at DraftKings or FanDuel, where we're getting a little bit more return on our investment. Here at DraftKings, taking a look at the win total here for the Yankees, 37 and a half. Now the under is juiced and the over here, you're actually getting plus money. If you're wondering in a 60 game season, what that equates to a full season, if we're looking about 37 wins, is a, would be equivalent to 100 wins in a 162-game season. So they are basically projected at the same rate for a little over 100 wins. So this, you know, obviously you would need 38 wins right here. So you're talking more in that kind of like 103-ish range, 103, 104 wins in a season. Um, the If you believe they can get there, if you believe this is this was a 100-win team before and you don't have any reason to think that they were going to, that they would stumble in a shorter season here, then you can get plus money here on the over. Same instance over here on FanDuel, but you're getting a little bit better price over at DraftKings, the over paying at plus 102 here. Um, however, over here at FoxBet, you can see the numbers all the way up to 38 and a half now, as opposed to 37 and a half. So if you are wanting the under, and you are, you are going to have to pay juice here, right? If you're wanting the under, but you're getting a full extra game, right? You can see at FanDuel, you got to pay 124 for under 37 and a half. Over here at DraftKings, you got to pay 130 for 37 and a half, 120 for 38 and a half right here. If you're looking at the under on the Yankee season win total, that's where you're going to gonna want to go bet that is over at Fox Bet. As you would imagine with this star studded team, uh, individual awards all over the place here. So if we look at the AL MVP odds, you can see Aaron Judge coming in eight to one. We don't have to go down very far to find Glaber Torres coming in at 20 to one. We go down just a little bit further. I'll scroll up for you. Giancarlo Stanton coming in at 33 to one. Keep going a little further. DJ LeMayhew here at 40 to one. Even Garrett Cole coming in at 50 to one 
over here. Gary Sanchez down at 80 to 1. If you think you want to go with long shot, uh, probably wouldn't go that direction. Over here on FanDuel, you can see Judge is 950 here. So we look over here at DraftKings. If you did want to bet Judge, Judge coming in at 800 over here at FanDuel at 950. So you're actually getting 9.5 to 1 as opposed to 8 to 1 on your bet. So that's where you would want to do that. Torres at 20 to 1, just like he was over on DraftKings. Uh, 30 here on Stanton. It was 33 over on DraftKings. So you'd want to go bet him over there. Cole coming in just at 35 here on FanDuel. Way, way better odds on DraftKings at 50 to 1 on him. Over here on Fox Bet, same as DraftKings, Judge coming in at 8-1. to one. So again, FanDuel reigns as where you would want to take him. Torres at 20-1, to one. so that's across all three sites right here. You can see as we go down a little bit further, Cole at 40, so we would take the 50 over at DraftKings. DJ LeMahieu at 45 over here on Fox Bet, which actually was a little bit better than the 40 we were getting at DraftKings. So if you wanted to bet DJ LeMahieu, you would do that over here on Fox. Fox bet and of course Gary Sanchez. We said it was a long shot at 80 to 1 over on DraftKings, 90 to 1 over here on Fox bet. If you did want to bet that long shot, Gary Sanchez coming in at 90 to 1. Now, there are some bet boosts here on Fox bet as well. Garrett Cole to win the Cy Young coming in at 4 to 1, and Aaron Judge to win the MVP here coming in at 10 to 1. Now, there's anytime you have these bet boosts, it's going to be limited on how much action you can get down on it. So if you were interested in Judge, maybe you put down the the max that you wanted to here at Fox Bet and then head over and put down just a, a normal bet over here at uh, at FanDuel. But again, look, take advantage of the bet boost, right? I mean, it's the best odds that are out there right now. So you might as well go ahead and do that. MVP is not the only place you're going to find, you know, Yankees, of course, Garrett Cole, the runaway favorite here uh, to to be the Cy Young winner. 2.75 to 1. Not even getting 3 to 1 on your money here for him to win the Cy Young. So that is like pretty crazy whenever you think about it here. Cy Young, 2.8. So you're getting a little bit better odds over here on FanDuel. And then as we head out, uh, head over here to Fox Bet, we're seeing Garrett Cole come in at 3 to 1. So you're going to want to bet Garrett Cole if you want to bet him for Cy Young, 3-1 to one over here on Fox Bet is where we're going to take the best odds on this. Heading back over here to DraftKings, as you'd imagine, home run leader, you're going to find uh, Yankees up here. Giancarlo Stanton coming in at 11-1. to one. Aaron Judge coming in at 20-1 to one if you wanted to uh, look at those guys. And we can take a look over here at FanDuel. We're getting Giancarlo Stanton at 14-1. to one. Here at DraftKings, we were getting him at 11. So actually Stanton at 14 to 1, better here at FanDuel. And then we come down and we'll find Glaber Torres at 30, Aaron Judge at 22, both of which are better than we're finding over at, uh, at Dra- actually Torres coming in 28. So you Torres over at DraftKings, but you would want Judge and you would want Stanton over at FanDuel. So here we go. Uh, looking at some of these other, you know, individual awards again, guys, like just uh, as you would imagine, Yankees are just all over the place. I mean, we're, we're talking, uh, you know, strikeout leader Garrett Cole, again, runaway leader here as far as strikeouts for the season. When you have when you have runs, you imagine that a lot of these Yankees are going to score a lot of runs. So we see that they're they're showing up along the runs down here as well. Uh, DJ LeMahieu coming in at 40 to one is fairly interesting and be hitting towards the top of that lineup. So. Uh, would be interesting. RBI leader, you're going to find Yankees as well as we get down here. The only thing is, is they're not one of the super favorites here because there's so many good hitters in that lineup that, uh, you know, where RBI has got to go around somewhere, but Giancarlo Stanton coming in here at 30 to one on the RBI leader for the season. But as you can see, these individual awards, if you're wanting to bet your Yankees, if you're a Yankee fan, I mean, there are Yankees just all up and down the uh, the lineup here RBIs as well you'll be able to find some some uh, some Yankees and things like that so just be sure and take a look at that you come over here they even have short season specials uh, Garrett Cole will he get to a hundred strikeouts you can only bet the yes you can't bet the no but uh, the yes is minus one twenty one so you can see uh, player hit twenty home runs as well. You can come over here and you'll find Giancarlo Stanton on this list. Yes, for him to hit 20 home runs is 3-1. to one. Give you a little bit of insight into that. As far as hitting 20 home runs in 60 games, we've only had a handful of players, like four players, hit 20 home runs in the first 60 games of the season over the course of the last three seasons. So not easy to do. 
Pretty tough to do. As you can imagine, home run every three games. Not the easiest thing to do, but three to one here on Giancarlo Stanton if you want to go about it that way. There are also at FanDuel some opening day specials if you want to take a look at these. Um, you're going to be watching the game anyway if you're a Yankees fan, so you might as well have a little bit of action. You can see player to hit the first home run of the 2020 season. These are available here on the opening day specials. Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, of course, at the top here. Maybe you take a flyer on a Glaber Torres or even a Gary Sanchez getting a little bit better odds as well with all of that. But uh, tons of Yankees uh, popping up all over the place for ways that you can bet this team before the season gets started here. Guys, uh, as far as Garrett Cole goes, all those really super short odds, I don't know if I'm really into that, right? With this short season, no one, uh, we're assuming health with everyone, right? But weird things are happening. Not only do players just get injured anyway, but with the whole COVID thing that's going on out there, if you catch it, you're definitely as a pitcher going to miss at least two starts, maybe three starts. And if that were the case, you're never going to win any of these awards, right? I mean, like, because you're only going to get on average about 12 starts over the course of 60 games anyway. So if you miss three of those 12 starts, you can understand why you would basically be eliminated from any sort of contention. So for me, I'm not betting any of the super short odds. And, and so Garrett Cole, probably not going to be getting any of my money here, especially like the counting stats as well. When you think about the the sprint that we're talking about here, you know, him to get to a, a hundred strikeouts or to be the strikeout leader and him being such short odds. If he misses one start blister, you know, a cut, uh, whatever it might be, wakes up and bangs his knee on the bed or whatever it might be and, and can't and, and misses even just one start. Those counting stats when you're only making 12 starts, not being able to get those stats and rack up those things. I mean, missing one start get, could get you off pace to be able to do any of that stuff. So for me, I uh, won't be betting Garrett Cole odds, but I do like some of these other Yankee odds and be sure and uh, rewatch this video if you have to and jot down some notes here to make sure that you're getting the best odds at the best books here. So whenever you do that, just, of course, head over here to the lines, click on uh, whatever your state might be, and we'll have the best sign up bonuses wherever it might be. I mean, if you're over in Jersey, you can see uh, tons and tons of great offers here up to a thousand dollars free at DraftKings, $500 free bet at FanDuel, a thousand dollar free over Fox bet, et cetera, et cetera. So just take advantage of all those sign up offers whenever you get going and uh, betting on this. If you're a Yankees fan, good luck to the Yankees and uh, be sure subscribe that subscribe to this page here, hit click that subscribe button and let us know in the comments how you are going to bet the 2020 New York Yankees.